It is a great honor for, to Porto, for the city of Porto, to welcome you all for the Cities Forum 2020. We are, we are very proud to host this event in our city. I'm sorry it's raining outside, but that's because we want you to concentrate on your work and activities here. But we hope it will improve for those who will stay a bit longer, or at least it will inspire you to visit at a later day when the sun is shining and we don't have to work. But today, these two days, we will have to work. And we will have to work in very important matters, which is sustainability. Sustainability is a key word for the world, and it's a key word uh, for uh, our cities. It is my belief, and we will discuss it over the next, uh, the next two days, that uh, we have to look at the sustainability from three basic angles. The first angle being, of course, the environment, which is something which concerns us all. The second thing is the economic sustainability. And we are talking at a time when uh, artificial intelligence and other risks put a lot of stress on the future of the economy of our cities. And the third, of course, is social sustainability. It is this virtuous triangle that we should be able to achieve. And uh, this can be do done through the access to technology, to knowledge, to our universities, to entrepreneurship. Today, our citizens, they look at cities, they look at mayors, they look at elected officials, and they expect us to have responses to their problems. Whereas they look at national states probably for the good reasons, because they, those especially that believe in European unity, they understand that the sovereignty of uh, states has diminished. They believe in the sovereignty of cities, and that's our task. That's why we are here for. I will not tell you much about Porto. It's a very ancient city. It's an historic city. It's a cultural city. I hope you will have the time to enjoy. And I think this building, which is the old custom house, is a very good example of the city. It is now part of our heritage. But it shows a little bit the city, which is called Porto, which means a port. If it was renamed today, maybe it would be called airport, because it's still a very open city where people come in and people go, and we try to be eclectic and we try to be open to the world. I would like to underline that this choice of Porto to organize this fourth edition of the forum had already been decided when I was confirmed as commissioner. I was not part of the selection process, and it is then a very, very fortunate coincidence that uh, my first public engagement here in Portugal as commissioner uh, for urban questions uh, can take place exactly in the place where I was born. Cities are crucial to the future of Europe. They are the hubs of prosperity and innovation, as well as the centers of culture and knowledge. I would like to offer four concrete suggestions on how to move forward. One, enhance the impact of our actions and provide better regulatory frameworks for cities to thrive. Two, facilitate access to funding, both public and private, as the past crises have reduced the overall levels of investment. Three, make sure that local stakeholders, in particular city representatives, are central in the definition of the projects and priorities. Four, improve the overall governance of the urban agenda. These are my suggestions, but please share your views. We are here to discuss, and I want to listen to you. I want to tell you that this four Cities Forum 2020 is an excellent opportunity to expose, exchange ideas, and deepen our concerns and reflections on the state of play of sustainable urban development in the European Union. It is unquestionable that cities are a catalyst for the growth and prosper prosperity of regions and nations. From places of shelter, residence or trade, cities have evolved to nodes of relevance in the development networks where most of what is important is decided on, conceived and consumed. I believe the roles of cities and city networks is even more critical in Europe because we are multinational, we are a multinational continent, because we are multilingual, because we are multicultural. European cities have been incubators of science, 
art and culture since the Renaissance times.